Hey family. Hey, wait a minute. I don't forgot my lips. My lip, what you call it? Hold on one second. Hold up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up. Let me see which one I'm gonna get. Because I got two different kinds. Okay. Today we are using uh I got this one from Walgreen and it's cocoa butter lip balm with real cocoa beans. But when you put this on, no, oh my God, it has like a, a menthol type thing going with it. You know what I mean? Where it kind of make your puckers a little bit more pucker, puckier. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. But it makes your lips more uh, sweller, thicker, bomb. We're going with that. Because this other one right here is regular chapstick, Aloha Coconut. It's cool. It's bomb. They got it. So, I like it. It's alright, but no, nah, we're going to fuck with this. So, anyway, today is the 14th of April. 2017 it is 8 17 in the a.m. and wow <clears throat> uh, look we all over the place today so I don't know whether or not you want to hang with me tonight I mean today or not um if you choose to hang with me just know that I'm all over the place so you ain't no telling what you're gonna get today okay now I use it on come on this motherfucker every day I ain't done that in a long time but it was just something my spirit had me come on this motherfucker right now. So I just had to do it. Now, um, we're going to do a little retrograde mental cleansing and going to get through some shit today. That is what my calling is on today. That is my message that I was given. So I was at, at first, I was outside doing my own shit. You know what I'm saying? Taking off my little coverings. You know what I'm saying? Because motherfucker on 12-12 now. Um, wait a minute. Hold on. Do we need to clear the room? I mean, do we need to clear this motherfucking room? I don't know, because I'm just needing the niggas from the backwoods, the motherfuckers over there off the Cooper Road, the motherfuckers down there in Plain, Dylan and Rusty, the motherfucking Monroe, all y'all motherfuckers come on in this piece today. We ain't kicking nobody out. We partying. We feeling good today. I got, had me a bomb-ass motherfucking orgasm last night by myself. Nigga, I feel good today. Had to change my motherfucking whoop why? Took me a badass motherfucking, uh, lotion me down. Nigga, I'm straight. What? I got on my baby shorts. I got my little top I got from, uh, Forever 21. A few, uh, months, something weeks, no, a couple of months back. And so, shit, nigga, I'm just doing me. I'm just doing me, but I gotta do this cleansing, so this is what we on today. So, either you rolling with us, or you don't run and roll with us, or you got some other shit to do. Whatever the hate, whatever the hate, it's just whatever. How about that one? It's just whatever. So, but y'all, let me say that um, yesterday, who, let me calm down. Motherfucker's on 10. I shouldn't have never hit that before I cut this motherfucker on. Because I had to, you know what I mean? Motherfucker had to, and I'm like, damn, okay. Let me calm down. Let me calm the fuck down. Digress just a little bit. Bring it down just a few notches. Really just enjoy this thing and really just ride it out. You know what I mean? On how I really just on some chill shit. Let me just ride this thing out. Hold on. <clears throat> like I said before, um, last night, I had me one of the best showers, nigga, I ain't had in a long motherfucking time, okay? I didn't have to share my space. Um, I didn't, I just, I, man, I just was in my motherfucking element. When I tell you I was in my element, I had jets hitting my motherfucking ass from north, south, east, west, motherfucking, um, coming from, the, man, listen, huh? I had the best motherfucking shower last night. 
monsoon was on. So I cut the blue light on because I was like, okay, first of all, I made sure all my kids was home. We're going to be all over the place, so fuck it. I made sure all my kids was home and all that shit. My son got off last night, um, whatever, uh, at what, whatever time. And once I knew everybody was home and everybody was safe and everybody chilling and everybody wind down, alarm on, shit locked up, you come in, you land down, one of them. So, uh, I was like, okay, well, let me go head on. I had been going through this retrograde thing for the past few days I've been going through. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead on and take me a long ass shower and really just, you know, cleanse and, you know, water works, you know, and, you know, really do a full scrub. So I had did a full scrub on my face. You know, the whole get down, I steamed everything. I put a little tea tree in the shower with me um, so then, therefore, as the steam come up, it was just opening up everything, you know? Oh, my God. Lord have mercy. Motherfucker just decided to go ahead on and heist that motherfucking leg up. When I did that, though, oh, my God. When I tell you I had one of the coldest motherfucking orgasms I have ever had, and so long in my life, I was like, oh my God, it was just ridiculous. I had all the lights off in my bathroom. Let me let me set the stage. Let me tell you how this shit really the fuck went down because I'm not bullshitting you, okay? Had my motherfucker, because my baby done broke my iPod, so I had my iPad, though, in the bathroom with me on the counter, huh? Okay? Had the motherfucking um, Himalayan sea salt. Lamp on. Only light on in the bathroom. You understand me? Had a candle or two burning on the slide. You know? My big ass getting the shower. I already knew what was going to take place because, nigga, I'm about to make love to myself. You feel me? So, <clears throat> I cut on the motherfucking blue light while you're bullshitting. Huh? I pulled the curtain. Okay? Because, see, I ain't got one in barnyard doors yet that I really want. You know what I mean? And so, but I got a full motherfucking curtain that I could pull to where if my kids or somebody come into my bourgeois, they still, when they look into my pampering space, they can't see because in my shower, it's just all, it's like taking up a whole corner like you in like a tube, like a test tube or like one of them, you know, them banking, when you go to the bank and you sitting in your car and, and you go through the, the drive-through part and you put all your money and your ID and all that shit and it's like this test tube and then you put it back in the thing and it zooms up and all that shit and the motherfucking inside get it. Okay, well that's how my shower looks like. It looks like you're in like this test tube. And it's and it's like cat it's like in this corner. But if you come into my bourgeois and look to the left, if I don't have that curtain pulled or no barnyard door, nothing like that, nigga. You seeing ass, pussy, titties, ass, pussy, titties, ass, pussy, titties, ass, pussy, titties. You seeing it all, you know what I mean? And so, uh, so I was like, nah, I got to fix that right there, you know what I mean? So I got me a, you know, a cute little purple curtain up there that, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers can't just come on in and just, you know what I'm saying, get a gander, you know? So, but yeah, last night a motherfucker made love to her goddamn self. I feel good today while you bullshit. I don't give a goddamn. Say what you want to about me, shit, nigga. I'm all the way grown two or three times. Look, check this out. <clears throat> I'm straight. Okay? I'm good. I steamed. I cut that motherfucking steam on. Motherfucker was, uh, listen. Oh my God, shit was glistening off my motherfucking body. All that goddamn grease and oil and all that shit, nigga. I was just seeing fat and all kind of shit just going down the drain, my nigga. I was in that motherfucker. I was like, you know what, just fuck it. I'm just going to take all this shit in, tea tree. I'm going to take all this shit in. And oh my God, I had the best motherfucking orgasm. Motherfucker slept so good. Oh my God, baby. When I tell you I was on some sleeping beauty status, nigga, don't wake me up, don't kiss me, nothing. just let me go ahead on and have this shit tonight. Oh, my God. Left the TV on. The motherfucker was on mute. But, shit. <clears throat> Baby. Last night was a good one. You hear me? I had a good one last night. Shit. Nigga had changed her hair. I said, oh, my God. Oh. <clears throat> okay. So, that brings me here. Okay. That brings me here. 
So I woke up, got me a cup of coffee, didn't have no extra motherfucking weenie for my dog, so he was mad at me. I didn't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? Didn't have enough sugar for but a half a cup of motherfucking coffee. My soul was fucked up, but I still had to have Folgers in my cup, you know? So I had me a cup of coffee, came back here. I was like, okay, made up my bed and shit, you know, caught up on the news, you know, seeing who got got, who got shot, what took place last night. And so I was like, okay. Now, and then I began to think about shit, you know what I mean? Begin to think, think about, you know, the shit I was going through yesterday. Start going through you guys' messages and, and reading about them motherfuckers. Thank y'all. Thank you. Because your girl is going through. This motherfucking retro girl got me so twisted up. My girl, Danielle, my nugget, my niece. Danielle, hey, baby. Hey. She tagged me on so much shit last night. Had me going. Had me in my feeling like a motherfucker on Instagram. Yes, my niece, boy. I need you to un help me understand a lot of that shit, though. I don't really understand it like how you understand it, but you broke it down for me, and I love you for it. Her name is Danielle One Eleven or something like that on uh, Instagram. And, um, man, oh, my God. She was like, Auntie, you mentioned me in the video, and I was just so messed up. Well, Auntie mentioning you again today, honey. And let me tell you something, you, po you post the best things, you get me through, you ain't even understanding. Because you don't even understand the bullshit that your auntie been going through for some time, okay? So a lot of your posts truly get me through, y'all. She posts the best motherfucking things ever, okay? She posts some real good shit, okay? On the same namaste type motherfucking thing, you understand me? Yeah. So... Um, so yeah, so thank you for that, niece. I, I truly appreciate it. And keep your auntie in your prayers. Throw some, throw some motherfucking crystals up or whatever the fuck we doing. I don't give a damn. Just put me in the mix of it. That's all I'm saying. If it's some good shit, add me to it. That's all I'm saying. Can you do that for me, please? Yeah. So, um, uh, as you can tell, I have on no makeup. I don't know how to do makeup like y'all. Y'all motherfuckers be so made up so bad. I be like, God damn, how this bitch do all this? It's too many motherfucking steps. It's too many goddamn steps. I can't keep up with it, for real. I fucks up. I do shit that probably don't look right. And then, too, when it depends on the lighting, I probably really look crazy. So, it's like, man. You know, and I saw this one motherfucking honey dip on Instagram. And so, she had her lips lined with like a little bronze type get up. And I was like, wait a minute, hold on. I got some old shit from Milani that I can try that shit with. That might work out. You know what I mean? So that's what I did and shit. But on different, now on this right here, the camera on here, this is a flip. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no high quality. Whoa, whoa. You know what I mean? Ain't no 1080p, this and that. You know, it ain't no DSLR. You know, so then therefore, I don't know what, you know, the quality sometimes look real good and sometimes it look crazy. So, whatever. But as you can see right now, Auntie ain't got on that now lash. Had to throw some hair on, okay? Because I got my little cornrows popping. But I got, you know, absolutely no this and that on the day. So this is just what the fuck it is. This is just what I look like. You know what I mean? This is just what I look like. It just is what the fuck it is. I don't grow that much hair. You know what I'm saying? So I don't grow that much eyelashes. I'll be like, damn. Because, like, my daughter got long-ass eyelashes, thick ones, too. I was like, God, damn. But, see, motherfucker like me be doing the minks and shit like that. When them motherfuckers come off, y'all know. Them motherfuckers come off and grab a whole bunch of goddamn friends with it. And they just come the fuck off and just take all your shit off. So then, therefore, you have to take a break. So I'm going through a little break right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm going through a little break, you know, to allow my eyelashes to kind of strengthen up, you know, for about six weeks. But I still wear my strips when I need to. But one of the motherfuckers, oh, my God, woke up the other motherfucking morning. I'm like, damn, I was feeling something. They didn't say shit. This motherfucker was all the way flipped the fuck up. I was like, oh, my God. He ain't said a motherfucking thing. Still was trying to hit it, though. But that motherfucker was like, shit, this motherfucker was all the way, just bent up all the way like that. I was like, oh, my God. And this one right here, half that was off. I was like, shit. It was good, though. Fuck it. Shit, we both didn't give a fuck. Shit, nigga, breath was hollering. Nigga, it was still on like a motherfucker. Yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, y'all, I'm just going through this. 
I, I guess it's just because of the retrogrades, you know. And I'm just going through this just emotional roller coaster type thing. You know, I ain't been diagnosed as bipolar or nothing like that. So don't come in my motherfucking feed with some old nigga, you want some schizophrenia type shit. Don't, don't, don't come up in, in this motherfucker with all that, okay? Because I, I ain't been diagnosed with none of that. However, though, I am going to give me one of these clones, CBD clone. I'm going to ask that you look it up. Yeah, it's the opposite of THC. You want to go with CBD. And that motherfucker right there is good for all kind of motherfucking this and that, okay? Now, I'm going to get that clone going because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my own oil, huh, for my sticks and all that old type of shit right there. You know what I mean? Yeah, for my own vodka and all that old type of shit there, I'm going to grow my own CBD, what you call it. I ain't got him yet, so I'm doing the research on all that other shit. Just got a little blue dream baby hooked me up with, so yeah, that little baby, I just uh, repotted him, mm, what's today, Friday? I think I repotted him on Tuesday. So, yeah, but uh, I got some shit popping. I'm just I'm just letting you know what time it is right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm an earth sign. This is what the fuck I do. I'm in my element. You know what I mean? Motherfucker ain't took not now agriculture class after motherfucking high school. But nigga got a green thumb, though. Oh, yeah. Now, mind you, some of my this and that up in the front part of the house is a little dried out. You know what I'm saying? Let me just go and say that part because my kids ain't on what I'm on. So if I tell them motherfuckers, y'all feed the plants, why do them motherfuckers put a little grow in them? Shit. Mm. I'm subjected to come. Them motherfuckers lean into the side. You know what I mean? Motherfucker leaves and shit doesn't turn brown. I'm like, damn, what done happen? But all my shit in this motherfucker is luscious. You know what I mean? I don't know if it's just the energy in this bitch or what or what the shit I be blowing in them motherfuckers. But either way, all these bitches right here is super duper green. You see this motherfucker right here? This motherfucker wanna fuck with my hair. It love me so goddamn much. This motherfucker want to scrub my back and every goddamn thing. Get my arm. You know what I mean? This motherfucker love me. You know what I mean? I'm an earth sign. I don't know. This is just my shit right here. I be in my motherfucking element, my nigga. The last couple of nights, look. <clears throat> been a full moon. Motherfucking retrograde. All this other shit going on. Motherfucker laid outside. Fucked around. Shit. Felt on myself, nigga. And went to sleep. I said, ow, shit. Motherfucker went to sleep. Woke up. Was rejuvenated like a motherfucker. Good morning. Hey, shit. Cat was over there. I was like, oh, shit. I hope that motherfucker didn't come over here and fuck with me while I was asleep. But that motherfucker was like, bitch, I see you. I ain't fucking with you. Shit, you don't fuck with me. I was like, no problem, man. As long as ain't no motherfucking possums and coons and shit fucking with my motherfucking ass or pulling my hair while I'm asleep. I slept so goddamn good outside the other night. I said, oh, fuck. Had my crystals to the side so them motherfuckers can recharge. You know what I mean? Under this motherfucking full moon, nigga, I was ready. And I guess that's one reason why I was, like, on what I was on. Like, nigga, I need to cleanse all this motherfucking, all kind of motherfucking shit was coming out the closet on my motherfucking ass. Remember this intense? Remember when that motherfucker did this? Remember when that other motherfucker said that? Remember, I was throwing it all together. So I know y'all was like, wait a minute, who the fuck is she talking about? Is it the new nigga? Is it Kenny? Is it who? Who is she talking about? Well, <clears throat> The story of my motherfucking life. The story of my motherfucking life. Y'all girls, y'all, some of y'all understand. Some of y'all truly, truly, truly understand exactly where the fuck I'm coming from. This ain't no new shit. This just some don't ask, don't tell shit. This some motherfucking shit. This motherfuckers is living right the fuck right now. Watching this shit because that nigga's going to work. He going and doing whatever he doing today. You at home, you watching me and you like, girl, look. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this motherfucker right here. I'm trying to think of a master plan. I'm going to muster me enough motherfucking strength, I swear to God. And I'm going to lead this motherfucker. You know, I understand. Listen, listen, listen. I understand. And I'm going to tell you, <clears throat> when a motherfucker feel like you are depending upon them for their, for your livelihood, for a place to stay, um, to eat, you know, for your well-being, for your Obamacare, or whatever the fuck it is, them motherfuckers really show the fuck out. But when you got your own, and you could be like, nigga, deuces, oh, you on that? Not a problem then. Uh, nigga, it's called, let me go get this pussy I know. Okay? And that this bitch take me where I need to go. Because, uh, no, no, this is some shit I ain't got to put up with. For what reason? Why am I going through this for? Are you serious right the fuck right now? Are you kidding me? The fuck am I signing up for this shit right here for? I ain't got to do this one right here. 
Are you kidding? Yeah. So, a bitch ain't got no problem with coming home. You know what I mean? Not a problem. So, but as I was sitting up yesterday and I was going through the different stories of my life and I was like, man, the different things. You know, the emotional things. You know, I had never been, you know, physically, you know, you know, what I bop, bop, you know, by no man or nothing. But that mental shit, oh, you ain't shit. Oh, you, you fake. Oh, you thank you this and that. You ain't that. Oh, shit, you ain't got nothing. Oh, it was, shit, I know a couple got more than what you got. Oh, y'all, I done heard it all. Oh, my God, I done heard it all. You ain't shit. And I'm like, wow. Yes, throughout the course of my, you know, this and this. I mean, you know, but the thing is, I guess since I'm half, I'm half cocked and half a little bit throwed off and crazy to go with it, dashed and throwed, okay, loped out, motherfuckers really don't try me too tough because they don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. You know what I mean? So it's like, okay, well, you know what? I'm going to push her all the way, but I know where not to go because then therefore I don't know what this bitch might do, you know? And so don't believe, don't, don't, don't get it misunderstood. I do got fell in the blood. You know what I mean? 